right now we're going to be replacing a uh, defective wheel stud. And sometimes uh, technicians have to do this when a, uh, a stud right here becomes stripped off or you know damaged. Sometimes this just happens over time when you're you know taking lug nuts on and off. However many times tires get rotated or taken off and put back on vehicles, so it's always best to put uh, the same amount of studs back on the vehicle or lug nuts that uh, are supposed to come with the car. So you never want to leave a strip stud on a vehicle, at least recommend it to your customer. Uh, this way it sort of keeps you out of trouble. So let's go ahead and run through the procedure on replacing a, uh, a rear wheel stud. This one's in a drum. It'd be the same procedure for the front. The only difference is that you're going to have to uh, remove the caliper and put that to the side and uh, maybe take the caliper bracket off, remove the rotor, and it's going to be right there for you to take off. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the drum. We'll set that to the side and obviously locate your defective wheel stud or stripped wheel stud that you want to replace. And you notice that they do give you some room back in here. Uh, so when you knock the wheel stud out, you can wiggle it out of there and uh, be able to get the new one back in. I'm going to use a brass hammer for this demonstration uh, because I want to reuse the wheel stud. So, really simple here. Just go ahead and the wheel stud that we're going to replace is this one right here. So, we just want to go ahead and knock it through. And there it fell right on out. So here's the stud. And if you look at the stud, it's got splines right here, all 360 degrees. And those splines are what hold it into the hub. This is the hub assembly. It has a bearing in here, so when the wheel moves, obviously the bearing is moving also. So, what are you going to have to do to replace the wheel stud? Well, you're going to have to order another one, and in doing so, their parts store is probably going to ask you what size or... Sometimes they'll ask you the year, make, model of the vehicle. Maybe they'll ask you the VIN number. And that should give them all the information that they would need. However, if you wanted to measure it, just do what you've always done. Go ahead and take your bolt sizing chart and find the right size, uh, which we're going to do, um, that corresponds. So we'll go ahead and put our wheel stud in, whichever one's the best fit. And Of course, right there, it looks like a 12 millimeter. And we'll go ahead and just lay that stud across, uh, because it's metric, uh, whatever thread pitch that uh, we feel would be the best. So I'm guessing it's a one and a half. So it is. It's a 12 millimeter by one and a half uh, thread pitch. So that's one and a half threads per millimeter. And of course, if we wanted to know the length, we'd just take a ruler and go ahead and measure um, all the way from the head of the stud all the way down to the bottom and of course it's it's two inches okay so now we know what size stud to order to replace with of course we'll go ahead and we're going to reuse this stud but we can always pretend that it's a brand new one and what I like to do is just go ahead and simply maneuver it right back in behind the, the hub assembly grab it with my hands here and make sure that those splines are lining up because there's splines in the hub as well as on the stud that you saw. We're just going to take our lug nut that came with the vehicle, nothing special, and we're going to flip it around all right, and use the opposite side right here because it has a little bit of a relief in there. You'll notice that the threads don't come all the way to the very edge of the lug nut. So we'll take that and install it right over top of the stud okay. until we feel it begin to give us some resistance. Now what we'll do is we'll take our correct size wrench, in this case a 19 millimeter, and we want to keep the hub from turning so I'm just going to use this pry bar and simply slip it between the studs and just go ahead and start turning it down until it won't turn anymore.
and that's about it. It's all the way down, it won't go anymore. You don't need to use air tools for this project. Really, there's no special tools required. Fairly simple job. Of course, just loosen up. Take that lug nut back off. What I like to do is always put a little bit of grease on the threads and of course you can get the, the rest of the studs as well. Then go ahead and return your drum back to the vehicle. Maybe a tip you may want to keep in mind is when putting the drum back on, I always try and put the drum back on the same way I took it off. And if you look inside the drum, you're going to see little, little rust marks or lack of rust marks. And they'll line up with the holes that are in the hub. Okay. Why I do this is it's going to prevent any run out um, from being a problem. And what that run out is is that back and forth movement. Um, it's going to keep the vehicle nice and vibration free on the road. So that's the task of replacing uh, a wheel stud. Pretty simple job, um, and good luck with that.